I think when it comes to looking for what makes a great remote worker, what makes whether or not this is right for you, uh, I in the book we talk about it. There's really three questions you've got to answer, right? Which is, are they good collaborators? You would think that remote work means that you can just be your individual, you know, talent and just do your own thing, and you don't have to collaborate. But that's not really true, and that's not what we've seen, right? Just because you're not working together doesn't mean you're not coordinating work together. And so are they good collaborators is a really important question that becomes more important in a remote world. Um, are they good communicators, right? Because the interesting thing about, and, and this was a lot of people's experience when people who were never planning to go remote decided to go remote, a lot of people's experience was, I'm just in Zoom meetings all day, this is ridiculous, right? Um, and we really stretched the limits of our bandwidth in April and May when people thought remote work meant I'm constantly on a Zoom call with all of my coworkers, right? Um, you, did you notice how quickly, by the way, that Zoom happy hours disappeared, right? You remember oh, yeah. back in like April, you kept getting invites to these like, yeah, grab a cocktail and join me at five o'clock on Zoom. Oh. And by like late April, everybody was like, dude, I'm Zoomed out. I don't, I don't want to do this. Um, Gradually, people figured out that the best communication in a remote work world is sort of bursty communication, meaning you have this burst of synchronous communication and then you go off. And so knowing when to have synchronous or asynchronous and then also being a really good communicator of your ideas, especially in written form, is huge because that's the still, even with all the technology we have, still the primary method that teams are coordinating who's working on what. And then the last thing, and it's probably the most obvious and I should have started with it, is how self-motivated people are. Um, it's the dumbest sentence in my book, but I make the case that people who are good at working when no one's watching will be good working when you're not watching, right? <laughs> like, um, it's sort of like a duh, that, but the, re the research supports it. What's interesting is I think a lot of people are self-motivated and don't think they are though. So you think about like, I mean, the easiest predictor of if somebody's gonna be a good uh, remote employee is whether or not they've done it before, 